Good morning, everyone. It's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of um, just some new paper that's coming out in January 2024. So um, we are going to play around with a paper pack called Flight and Airy. And so I have four different card ideas that I'm going to share with you, but I'm going to show you what the paper looks like. So this particular paper is um, actually one of the papers you can choose for free during celebration. So celebration starts in January, as does our new catalog. So that's what I'm going to give you a sneak peek of today. And then um, I'll tell you how you can actually get this paper now if you are interested. So I'll tell you that in a little bit. But first, we're going to go through these different cards that I have here, and I'm going to show you um, what this designer paper looks like. It's just absolutely gorgeous paper. So this is, I cut it down to six by six inch size, but it does come in a 12 by 12 inch pack. So just so you're aware. <laughs> so good morning, everyone. Hello, hello. So this is the paper pack. It is called Flight and Airy, if you're just joining me. And so it has all these just beautiful designs on it, all these different birds. I'm totally ready for spring, even though winter's just starting here in Wisconsin. <laughs> but um, so this is, uh, let me move some of these cards here first <laughs> so that I can show you the front and back of this paper. So this is the front and then this is the back. So let's move this over here. So it's just really gorgeous. I did spend some time just cutting these little pieces out. Uh, so I'll show you that today on some of the cards. But you can actually use some different die cut shapes, uh, circle shapes, square shapes, whatever you want to cut out some of these images in the designer paper and use them in your card making. So very, very pretty. So that's front and back. And then here is another front and back design. And I'll just kind of scoot through these. So this is this is front and back. Just really pretty colors. And just, um, I just love the soft colors. I think this is one of my favorite patterns. This is the pattern we're going to be using today. So it's front and back. And it's the boho blue is the color in this particular paper. So I like that, you know, new in color, the boho blue. So here's another one. Isn't it just pretty? It's just such a pretty pack of paper. <laughs> so this is actually one of the packs of paper that you can get for free, that you can choose for free during celebration. So here's front and back of the, I think this is the last one. Let's see, yeah. Um, so you can choose this for free with a, a qualifying purchase during uh, celebration. So we, some of the demonstrators were able to purchase some of these products now and get in on celebration now um, because we attended an event in November. But the actual pre-order for demonstrators starts December 5th. So it starts this Tuesday um, where all demonstrators will be able to uh, order from the new catalog and um, take advantage of the celebration items. So, so anyways, Okay, so these are the cards that we're going to put together. I just put together some very quick and simple cards because I really just wanted to highlight uh, the designer paper because I think it's just a beautiful pack of paper. So let's put together these cards first. We're going to work on the, the squares. So I used the stylish shape styles, and basically what I did is um, I started with a piece of the designer paper. So I'm going to just plop this in here for you. <laughs> so I started with a three and three quarter by five inch piece of one of the pieces of designer paper. And I just took my stylus shape style. So this is the square. This is the largest one. And I just took it and I cut out the center of this designer paper. So I'm using this as the focal point for this card. And then I'm using this to just kind of frame out this card. So I decided to create um, two cards all at once. <laughs> never, never waste paper. All right, so let's start with this one. So what I did, it's like I said, it's a very simple design. 
I just started with a piece of white cardstock. Whoops. Um, and I just embossed it with the time worn type 3D embossing folder. You can use any embossing folder that you want. And then I just took that designer paper, added some dimensionals to the back. So we'll just pop this up. I tried to prep all of my supplies so you don't have to watch me put all these dimensionals on. But we're just going to pop this up. So this is just the designer paper. And we'll just put this little square shape right here. And then I just cut a piece of the boho blue um, cardstock. So this is just a half inch wide and it's four and a quarter inches long. And so this is just gonna go right along the bottom here. So this one I will put some dimensionals on. And actually, I think I'm gonna put them here. So I'm really just kind of, you know, accenting this designer paper because this designer paper deserves accenting. It's just, it's so pretty. I don't know if you can tell how pretty it is in the video, but in person, it's very pretty. All right, so we will pop this up and I'm just running it all the way across. And then I'm just going to add a little greeting. So I just used, uh, what did I use? <laughs> what is it called? Uh, go to greetings. So let me show you that set. This set is available now, but I just used the go to greetings and I just used just a note, but you can use any of the, the greetings from this set uh, with you know this designer paper. So, so let me add. Uh, we'll put a couple down here, I guess. We'll just add a couple along here. And we can add one more. And we'll add our greeting. So all of my greetings are just on a half inch wide piece of um, white cardstock and it's about two and a half inches long. And that's basically what I did. And then I just used some of these little gems. These are adhesive back gems. They come in uh, copper clay, boho blue, and I already used the yellow. <laughs> so the yellow's gone, the lemon lolly. And then we'll just embellish this. So let me add a couple little boho blue ones here. And that's it. So that's how easy this is. Oops. I just dropped a, I just dropped one of my um, things. Anyways, <laughs> so that's how easy it is. And look how beautiful, it just makes a very beautiful card. And then on the inside, I just put a little bit more designer paper and I just left it blank um, for writing a note. So, so that is the first card. And then, with the leftover piece, so from cutting out that square, I have this leftover piece, and I just started with a piece of white cardstock for the base of the card. So I just create a standard card base. So it's uh, five and a half by eight and a half. I score it in the middle at four and a quarter. So that's just the standard card base that I use. And then I have a piece of boho blue, which is four by five and a quarter inches. And then of course this piece I already told you was three and three quarter by five. So I'm going to start by adhering this piece to the blue. And you could do this with any designer paper. So I know I'm kind of giving you a sneak peek of what's to come, but if you have some designer paper that has some really pretty patterns on it, you can cut it out, you know, you can cut it out with a uh, die, cut out the center and do the same type of thing that I'm doing here. So we'll add this. All right, so that's our base. Let's see if I can bring this in and 
so you can kind of see it. And then I just cut a smaller square shape uh, using the stylus shape dies. So I wanted a little bit of that blue to show, um, you know, around this to kind of frame it out. I just stitched the greeting right on this square shape. And I was using uh, crumb cake ink just to stamp on it. So we'll add that. And then I cut out one of the um, little bird images from uh, the designer paper. So this happened to be one that was on the edge of the designer paper. So I thought it would work perfect for this particular card. So we're going to run this flat edge here right off the side and just add it right on our square shape. So how simple is that? And just how beautiful it is. I love this paper. And then again, on the inside, I just used some designer paper just to decorate the inside. All right, so that's the second card. I know you guys are loving these. <laughs> They're so pretty. I had so much fun with this. All right, this next one is the same concept. So what I did is um, I started with a larger piece of paper this time. And I used a, the large circle die. So this is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of designer paper. And then I cut out, no, I didn't, it didn't cut out like this. <laughs> I'll tell you about that in a minute. I cut out the large circle shape right from the center. So I wanted to grab that bird as my focal point. And so this piece we're going to use on this card. And so it came out as a full circle. It didn't come out as a, <laughs> as a half circle like this. I just cut off a little bit of the circle with my paper trimmer so that I could use it on the edge of the card just to do something different. And then this piece we're going to use for the last card. So I'll show you that in a little bit. All right. So for this one, again, very simple. We start with a piece of white cardstock for the base of the card. And then we have a four by five and a quarter inch piece of the boho blue. And then this time I just embossed a three and three quarter by five inch piece of white cardstock with that um, time worn type embossing folder. And so we'll put these together, put all these layers together. And then we'll add this to the card. Don't you like the nice designs I make with my glue? <laughs> uh, all right, so that's our backdrop. And then I added some dimensionals on the back of this already. If I can get them off. I could get the backing off. Whoops. There we go. So we'll just add this right off the side. So I just lined up that edge that I cut off right on the side. So it just kind of gives it a fun look. And then I lost my blue paper already. <laughs> well, we'll just have to improvise here. You know that moment when you have your blue paper on the table and then it disappears? That's what happens. <laughs> Well, let me grab some blue paper. It's a good thing I got some right here. Oh. So this is uh, just a brief intermission as I cut a piece of paper. <laughs> I know it's going to happen. I'm going to finish this live, and I'll find my paper probably on the floor. Okay. So what I needed here, which is what I couldn't find, is my piece of blue paper. So I just cut a half inch wide and it's three and three quarter inches long. So I just kind of stuck with the blue theme, as you can tell. <laughs> and we'll just put this, we're gonna tuck it just kind of underneath here. All right, so that's what it looks like so far. And then I just used the same greeting. So we'll pop this up right away. Oop. 
got little pieces everywhere. So isn't it pretty? I just love this paper. Yeah, you guys love this paper too. <laughs> this one's going to be, uh, this one's going to sell out fast, probably. Okay, so let's put this on here. Hopefully it won't. Usually they, there's quite a few different designer series papers um, that are offered as part of celebration. So that's really nice. Um, I like it when they offer free paper. All right, so let's add some of these little dots. And then we have another beautiful card. All right, and so of course we're gonna use up the scraps for the next one. And again, same thing, I did designer paper on the inside. So just a really simple and pretty card and you can make this for any occasion, birthday, thank you, you know, any anything that you want. All right, let me show you the last card. Hopefully I didn't lose my blue paper for this one. It looks like I got most of the pieces. Oh, here's the blue one. <laughs> here's the blue one. That's in my lap. All right, there we go. All right, so for this last one, this is what the last one looks like. So I just used that negative space from cutting apart the, um, from cutting out the circle shape. So I've already added dimensionals to this because I wanted to just pop this up a little bit so that when I add the bird in the center, it just has, you know, a little bit of depth and dimension there. So, so this piece is four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's the full, it covers the full card front. And it's a little bit tricky to get this on. So hopefully I can line this up. There we go. All right, so that's the front of the card. And then I just added, you know, a couple different pieces. So I'm gonna add the bird in the center. And again, I just cut this right from the designer paper. I just used a little scissors and just kind of cut around it. So notice how I don't cut like directly on the image. I leave a little bit of white space as I cut around. That way um, it's very forgiving. So, you know, you don't have to try to cut exactly. And the extra white space kind of blends in with the card. So <laughs> with the card base. And then I just um, created a little scallop shape. I used the, um, oh, are they called the contour dies? Uh, to create this little scallop piece. So it's about a half inch wide. And this I just put up on the top. So it's a half inch wide, it's four and a quarter inches long. And I just added this right up at the top here. Just to kind of break up some of the, some of the paper. And then of course I added my little blue piece. So hopefully this is the right blue piece, yes. <laughs> I thought maybe it was the one I was missing. So this is just a half inch by four and a quarter inches. And we'll just add this right across the bottom. And then we'll just add our greeting. So how simple is that? Four quick and simple cards um, from just a couple couple pieces of that pattern paper. So you can make quite a few because there's quite a few different um, bird images in this particular paper that you can use as a focal point. So, oh. so let's add our little greeting here and this I'm just popping up and then we'll add a couple more of these dots. Use the bigger ones this time. And that's it. <laughs> All right. Whoop. So that is what the card looks like. Actually, I'll show you the inside again is just designer paper. So, so there. So that's what I've been playing around with. I've been playing around with some of the, let's bring these back so you can see them. 
I've been just playing around with some of the new designer paper and just getting some projects ready to show you. But I was just really super excited with these cards and how easy they were and how quickly they came together that I just thought I would give you a little, you know, sneak peek so that you guys could see um, what's coming. It's always fun to see the new products that are coming. I always get excited about the new products. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed these card ideas and I hope you're getting excited about the new catalog and the new products that are coming out. Uh, you do have the ability to get them. Like I said, all demonstrators are able to uh, place their pre-order starting on Tuesday. So we will be able to order some new things from the new catalog. We always get, um, uh, you know, we're able to do that about a month before the catalog starts. Uh, like I said, some of us got it a little bit early because we attended uh, a Stampin' Up! event, but all demonstrators will be able to order starting uh, December 5th. So if you are interested in becoming a demonstrator, I did provide some information in the link in the description below this video. So you can become a dem demonstrator just, to, just for yourself. You don't have to sell products if you don't want to. You can just become a demonstrator you know, to get the discount for yourself. So keep that in mind and go check it out. Um, because if you do decide to become a demonstrator, um, you can order from this new catalog uh, starting December 5th. So if that's something that you're interested in. All right. So there you go, guys. Um, a little sneak peek of the Flight and Airy Designer Series paper, which is part of Celebration, which will start in January. Um, so I hope you guys are as excited about these new products as I am. And I'm sure I'll give you more sneak peeks as uh, the weeks by. So, so I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and a great week. And I will see you guys all again next week. So take care, everybody.